Well, I'm supposed to be taking holiday pictures today. And look at this rain. Good morning. <laughs> today is my holiday pictures with me and Lauren. And I woke up rainy. I was looking at the weather and it says that it's going to stop raining around 2 o'clock, which is perfect because that's when our pictures are scheduled for, like 2.33ish. If you guys don't follow me on my Instagram, I told you guys over there that I was going to be kind of vlogging and sharing with you guys the process of the holiday pictures like my hair my makeup and taking you guys with me to the park my sister is actually the one that's taking our pictures I was going to pay a photographer to do so to like take professional pictures but I have everything I have camera I have lenses my sister is amazing at taking pictures I have editing softwares I have presets so I think I will be okay but this weather is a no-go so right now I am currently making breakfast I just woke up so I'm making breakfast and then we're gonna jump in the shower and start doing our hairs but first it's breakfast time all right this is Lawrence's breakfast here is mine okay so we are going to be starting with our skincare my skincare has been very basic but at the same time intense i haven't been using tons of products just the bare minimum but products that i know work for my skin so let me know if you want me to do a skincare routine because i can definitely talk about it a little bit more For the hair, we are going to be curling it today and my hair was actually a little bit oily. I only wash my hair once a week so I'm going in with a little bit of a dry shampoo. Now this dry shampoo was not my favorite it made my hair super duper white. Having my hair a little bit on the dirtier side actually worked out perfect because I feel like the curls look better when the hair is a little bit old and not so freshly washed but that's just my personal opinion. I also wanted to have super long hair for this particular photo shoot so I got some Luxie hair extensions the color that I picked was the dark ash brown balayage in the 20 inches and if you love my hair color I'm telling you these extensions are it they're my exact match so I did clip these extensions in and then I started to curl my hair with a regular curling iron. Now I left this in real time so that you guys can really see how I curl my hair. I tend to start at the root of the hair and then I kind of start twisting down all the way till I get to the ends. Then once all of the hair is inside the curling iron, I leave it there for a couple seconds and then I throw it to the back. So again, I'm starting at the roots and then I'm going to begin to twist down then up again then twist again until all of the hair is inside the curling iron if that makes any sense and then once I have all of the hair in the curling iron kind of twisted in there I'm gonna hold it for a couple of seconds and then just release I'm gonna throw the hair to the back I'm not gonna touch it I'm not gonna brush it I'm gonna let it cool in that tight curl For the front pieces, I wanted the illusion of curtain bangs because it's super in style right now and I really love the way that it looks. So I am curling away from the face. You want to pull your curling wand back and kind of curl away to create that bent. I wish I could go back right before you told me 
I'm gonna pull all of my hair to the front and I'm gonna spray it with some hairspray and then I'm going to begin to brush out the curls and really take my time brushing and shaping them the way that I want them to look make sure that you brush when your hair is completely cool and not still warm or hot you want to make sure that you brush it when it's nice and cool and just keep playing with it keep styling it add some more hairspray if you need to until you get your desired shape also you can fluff it up you know just play with it till you're happy with the way that it looks And here is the final hair look. <sighs> I'm ready. It's makeup time. Let's do it. For the makeup portion, I really wanted to do something that was festive in the holiday season, but something kind of still natural but glam, if that makes any sense. So I am going to be starting off with my eyebrows. I am using the Revlon eyebrow pencil and I'm going to fill in the brows and then I'm just going to go in with some powder to do the inner corner. I'm going to be taking a concealer and I'm just going to be cleaning the brows, shaping them, making sure that they look really good and then i'm going to go ahead and take that concealer and i'm also going to use this to prime the eyelid for eyeshadow i went in with the kylie cosmetics kendall palette and the reason why i chose this palette is because it had tons of green and i knew that i wanted to do some green shades so i am just creating like a very basic warm eye very basic just get some transition shades in the crease get the darker colors in the outer crease very 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 basic and then you want to go ahead and add in a fun pop of color so i am taking this liquid eyeshadow from ofra cosmetics it's in this really pretty like christmas tree green with a little bit of silver and i am going to work this in the inner corner and then i'm going to take the same liquid eyeshadow but this time in like a golden color and i'm going to work that in the center of the eyelid don't worry i'm going to have names to everything down below and then i'm going to be taking a lime green that's in the kendall palette the kendall and kylie jenner palette and i'm going to work that in the inner corner of the eyes kind of blending that that in with the dark green eyeshadow then i'm going to take a brown liquid liner and i'm going to do just a little baby wing go ahead and take a makeup wipe and just wipe off any fallout and really clean up the wing liner sharpen it up make it nice and straight and pointy and you can see the difference now between one eye and the other eye cleaning up your eyeliner is key moving on to the skin and makeup i'm going to start off by taking a concealer that's about the same shade as my skin tone and I'm going to apply that to any areas that I want to conceal, any areas that I have a little bit of redness, a little bit of darkness. And then I'm going to go ahead and go in with foundation. Whenever I have an event to go to, a photo shoot to go to, I always go in with my MAC Studio Fix Fluid in NC35 just because it looks so beautiful on the skin. Then I'm going to take the Dose of Colors um, concealer, <laughs> blanked out there for a second. This one is in the shade Light Neutral. And I am going to put this on the areas where I would normally highlight, under the eyes, on the bridge of the nose, on the center of the forehead, a little bit on the chin. And again, I'm just going to press this into the skin. I'm going to do a little bit of cream contour, nothing too crazy. I have done my makeup in so many different videos, so I'm going to leave one down below where you can really see my face routine in depth. I like my skin to be a little bit more on the matte side, so I am taking some powder to set the under eyes and the skin, and I'm using a powder puff to do so. This adds in more coverage, and it just blends everything so flawlessly. Now I'm gonna go ahead and bake. I'm going to take just some translucent powder, and I'm going to apply that on the areas where I would normally bake. And then I'm gonna go ahead and just take a little bit of the Hoola bronzer, and I'm going to bronze, and also 
just contour the sides of my nose then I'm gonna go back in with a little bit more of that translucent powder and I'm going to bake the bottom half of my face and allergies <laughs> Taking the light brown shades from the palette that we used in the crease, I'm just gonna work that in the lower lash line and I'm going to apply a nude eyeliner to the waterline, keeping it nice and simple. I'm gonna go ahead and wipe off the bake from under our eyes, from the center of the forehead and down the bridge of the nose. And then we're gonna go ahead and move on to blush, my favorite part. These are the new Alamad Cosmetics blushes, you guys. These are so good. You're going to see my face now when I first apply it. Oh my gosh, I love them. <laughs> this is the medium kit and that pink shade has my name written all over it. It is so good. So I'm just going to go to town with my blush. Next, I'm gonna be taking a highlighter. I used the Fenty Highlight in Hustla Baby, and I'm gonna put that on the tip of the nose, down the bridge of the nose, and then I'm gonna go in with some mascara in Falsies. Now for the lips, I don't know what happened to the clip of me applying my lips, but I am lining them using the KKW Nude 1.5, and the lipstick is the KKW Nude 2 with Max Angel right on the center. I'm gonna go ahead and curl my natural lashes with the falsies just so that it looks a little bit more natural, and that's it. Here is the glam. I absolutely love the way that it turned out. This brings me back to like old school Nelly. This is how I used to do my makeup and hair my makeup and hair and i love it Alrighty, so here is the hair and the makeup i'm gonna have to recurl these two front pieces again but i love it and these extensions match me perfectly i still have a little bit of darkness Ooh, it just got really bright um i still have like a little bit of darkness in some areas but they match so pretty all right this is the dress it's beautiful the green flowers are embroidered into the dress it has a high neck balloon sleeves the back is opened oh. it's a little see-through but it's okay this car too much it's his mustang and um yeah so we're in the car i have some pins in my hair to hold my bangs back until we get there but i'm excited and thankfully it stopped raining i hope it's not raining at the park that we're going to there's a high chance that it is so we're gonna try to make the best out of it because i really want to get these pictures over with so This is the park that we are at. And there's a lot of bugs and since it was raining today, there's a lot of puddles. So hopefully we got a good shot. If not, it's okay because there's a lot of puddles in here and this lens is so zoomed in. But yeah, we're going home now. We've been here for about 30 minutes, but there's so many bugs and it's literally mud. Let me show you guys. It's mud. My poor dress. But yeah. Going home. Mm -hmm. For pictures, we eat pizza. Pizza, pizza, pizza. Uh -huh. Stepped into my life, such a magic feeling. You tore down my wall. I wish I could go back right before you told me. I'm trying to change. Oh, but look at us now. I could have gone so far. It hurts to realize we're parted